Welcome back my wonderful brothers and sisters all over the world. Welcome back to Call for a Purpose. Always affirm to yourself that you are born, you are called for a purpose and you are going to live to fulfill the divine purpose and calling of God in your life. Please, if you're new to this very channel, do not forget to subscribe, share, click the notification. Subscribe, like, share, and put on your notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. Welcome back, my wonderful brothers and sisters. May the Lord be with you all. Amen. I welcome every one of you back today to encourage you, to strengthen you, to empower you, and to tell you, keep doing what you are doing. It is working out. I didn't say it is easy. It is not easy. Do you know that one time inside this week, I posted that it is almost like 12 midnight. That is to tell you that self-discipline, that is to tell you that whatever goal you set your eyes on, that you have to be able to fulfill it. I didn't say it's going to be easy, but I'm here to encourage you that you are doing an amazing job. In the mix of it all, we are going to encourage each other today and also we're going to pray and every other thing that we're going to discipline ourselves to learn something new every day and to admitting to be human and making mistakes actually increase trust put yourself ego aside how to put our self ego aside to put our pride aside and to learn something new every day and also to apologize Tendering apology when it's needed doesn't mean that you are weak, but that shows that you choose peace, love, care over trouble. I am telling you, it is not too difficult to apologize and it is going to avert a lot of things. So today we are going to take our focus in the book of Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23. It's talking about facing the storms of life. I don't know the storms that you're already facing in this January or that the one that was carried over from 2022 into 2023. I don't know what it is, but compare yourself. I want you to put yourself in the boat when Jesus was with his disciple and that boat jesus was present in that boat but the disciples were so afraid they were so freaking afraid they're so like we're gonna die even though the most of them are fishermen who are used to the sea who are used to the ocean who are used to the everything concerning water because that is where the business based but they were so afraid they were so afraid so imagine yourself that jesus was in their boat and they are so scared of the storms so i don't know the storm that the enemy is whispering in your ear this 2023 telling you that this storm is going to swallow you tell the devil that he is a liar that jesus christ is in this storm and christ is going to set you free from this storm and this storm no matter how big it is remember the bigger the storm the bigger the miracle and god is going to turn everything good but it depends on your response do you know how to respond to the devil when he's whispering to your ear that this is the end of you tell the devil to get out of you because he that is in you is greater than he that is against you you are a child of god you are a child of destiny that christ has promised you that he's not going to allow any temptation that is bigger than you to come closer to you that you know for sure without any shadow of doubt that this storm is preparing you for the greater things ahead for the greater task ahead of you that jesus christ is in your boat that jesus christ is in this storm and this storm will not swallow you but this storm is going to glorify the name of the lord at the end of it all trust in the lord and do good love and care will get us through to any storms in our life as a family individual in our workplace always commit the way into the hand of the lord stop complaining stop whining stop you know disfiguring your face because devil i was reading something this anarchotic repented man was telling the the interviewer that do you know why we always go after men in their marriages is because when the man is angry the marriage is in trouble the man will be lashing out the man will be angry at the wife be angry at the children and the family will be in a chaotic situation you see why you need to pray for your husband every day you see why you need to pray for your father every day you see why you need to pray for your brother every day because devil is targeting them because the devil know for sure if i can get this man to be mad if i can get the business frustrated if i can get him fired the storms of their life is going to make hell break loose in this marriage and that may be the end of that marriage so i want you to learn that i want you to learn 
to depend on God every day and to learn something new. I want you to display yourself from today going that you are going to learn something new every day to add to what you have known. If it requires you to you know, follow someone free of charge for you to be able to be impacted with the knowledge that this person knows. I want you to learn how to discipline yourself to learn something new. Even if towards this year, YouTube, research to the people that are in the same niche with you. Learn something new every day. Improve yourself in every day. Improve your, up, your upload every day. Improve something. Do something new every day. Do not remain one place. I want you to learn how to do what? Improve yourself. I want you to learn how to put yourself ego aside. It doesn't matter if you're a graduate, if you're a doctorate degree, but your doctorate degree means nothing quality. It cannot afford a good life to, to you, for you and your loved one. Your doctorate degree means nothing when you cannot put food on your table, when you cannot put shelter on your destiny. Put your ego aside. Put your certificate aside. Buckle up. Buckle up your sleeve. Buckle up your trousers and begin to work to start working towards a breakthrough learn something new like i will always say remember the son-in-law of paul and nature he read economics but he put economics aside he learned videography and photography from there he went into real estate from there he went into agriculture i am telling you he's a farmer he's a videographer he's a photographer and he's also a real estate investor and his life has transformed that is now dining with kings and king learn something new every day never get satisfied wherever you are keep on learning keep on improving and god is going to turn your tears your fears into a miracle into that is an ovation. All you have to do is to know how to target the forehead of your glory. My brothers and sisters, the storms of life must surely come. But how you approach that storm will determine how you are going to get out of it. If you know the code, the code is to learn how when to when to rebuke the storm and say, be you still because Jesus Christ is in my boat. Jesus Christ is in my family. Jesus Christ is in my affairs. My situation, my condition is not an accident before God. I know he's ahead of me. I know he's in this storm. I know he's in my family. I so I know he's in my daughter. I know he's in my, my son. I want you to begin to pray for your children, those that are of age, those that are coming of age, that this age will not swallow them, but this age will be a stepping stone that your children will shine like the light they are. I want you to cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. You're going out here, coming in. This year, 2023, is going to yield their increase to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming to the end. Until next time. Thank bye. you, my amazing people. If the video interests you, go ahead, like, share,